On today's episode of SEO Lunch, don't make your fingers tired or more tired than they have to be. We're going to show you how to easily search for multiple keywords on Google AdWords. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of SEO Lunch. I'm your host, Dan. And SEO Lunch is your weekly look at the latest and greatest in inbound marketing tips, search engine optimization tricks, and other tips to make your website the best it can possibly be. As always, folks, this is brought to you by our Embrace WP service. Embrace WP is your place to go for SEO and inbound marketing audits, consulting, and development on a month-by-month basis. Visit us at embracewp.com to find out more. So, We've been spending a lot of time with keywords, and I think it's very, very important, especially in today's day, uh, today's day and age with long tail keywords, that when you're creating an article or when you're creating content for your website, which is a very, very valuable tool to use for search engine optimization or inbound marketing, you want to make sure that you're hitting the right keywords, especially if you're a small business or you're somebody on a budget and you want to make sure that you are hitting the right people at the right time. And you're not wasting a lot of your efforts, all that all hours and hours of creating content. You want to make sure that those keywords are perfect. And there's actually a really great tool built right into Google AdWords that I'm going to show to you today that's going to make it easier than ever to search for tons and tons of different keywords and filter out the bad ones and go for the good ones. This is especially good for businesses that have you know, a lot of things they can speak to, but they want to speak to the things that are really going to get traffic, the things that people are really, truly looking for. The example we always use is pizza sauce or pizza company, right? So let's use that as an example, right? Let's say I'm a pizza company and I am in, uh, I am selling different pizza pieces of the pizza or whatever, or whatever it might be, right? I sell pizza sauce, I sp- sell certain toppings, pepperoni, I sell dough, whatever it might be, right? And I want to sell my stuff out to other people. And this is again just an example. But what are people really looking for? Well, what I can do is I can go to this multi keyword planner. And I can actually easily segment those searches in a very easy way without having to like rack my fingers and type in all sorts of words like pizza sauce, pizza toppings, pizza dough, stuff like that, right? We make it a lot easier using this. So what you're going to do is in your Google AdWords account, you're going to navigate to tools and then you're going to go to keyword planner. Now, when you go to the keyword planner, you're going to notice at the very bottom that there's a way to sort by multiple keywords. And it is hierarchical, so you have your first search term well, from this way, then your second one, and then your, and then potentially even a third one. And what you do is this. You put in one word or a couple words in a row, and then in the second list, you put in other words that are like modifiers of that, right? So let's say, for example, you sold shirts and hoodies, right? You say shirts, hoodies, and you put those on two separate lines on the first section, the block keyword block. In the second one, you might put black, white, red, different colors, right? Let's say you put black, white, and red. What it's going to do is actually going to basically make six different search terms automatically for you. It's going to do black shirts, or I'm sorry, shirts black in this case, right? Shirts red, shirts white. So you can also flip it. You could do in the first group, you could do white shirts, black shirts, things like that. And, and this is just an easy way, instead of typing out all the different colors, adjectives, things like that, to do the multiple search keywords for you. In the case before where we talked about pizza, right? Your first list could just say pizza. And then your second list could say sauce, next line, toppings, next line, dough, whatever it might be. And what that will do is it will create keywords for pizza sauce, pizza toppings, and pizza dough. What you can do with this information is you can actually take it and it will show you. Let's say as an example, in the case of pizza sauce, it says something like, you know, pizza dough gives you 100,000 searches a month. You know, 100,000 people a month are looking for pizza dough, but only 50,000 people are looking for pizza sauce, for example, right? Well, then you'd know that with pizza dough, there's more of a market for it. There are more people online looking for good pizza dough. And you can go from there, which is what makes it such a powerful, powerful tool. And I mean, and you can see how with three lines and different search terms on each line, how you could easily tackle quite a few different keywords at one go. 
and have an easy, easy time to say, when I create this content, the keyword I'm searching for is best pizza dough. And then incorporate that throughout my content and in some of my H2 or H3 tags as I write down my page, which is really, really cool. In our case, as a design studio, we're a WordPress studio. We might do a search by WordPress, Drupal, which are two different uh, website systems. And then next to that, themes, plugins, tutorials, videos, whatever we might need, right? And what that's going to do is that's going to create a search for each individual item. WordPress themes, WordPress plugins, WordPress tutorials, WordPress videos, Drupal themes, Drupal plugins, Drupal tutorials, Drupal videos. By typing very little, I just got eight search terms, which is pretty cool. And you can just see how you can just add so many different layers to this. You can really go crazy and include a lot of keywords and even set an AdWords bid based on keyword terms that you think are perfect for your business. If you need a little bit more guidance with these keyword tools, you can certainly navigate to our Embrace WP site where we go over in a little bit more detail um, with you, we can do audits, uh, we can develop on your website, or just do SEO reports for your website, which is a really, really great service. Check it out, embracewp.com. If you have any more questions or comments, please let us know in the comments below, either here or in our article that we'll have for it, certainly, or subscribe to us hitting the big old red subscribe button on YouTube. Thanks a lot.